Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Troy Dupree, and you know what? I'm particularly jacked this episode because, one, the Eagles dethroned the Patriots in Super Bowl 52, and two, it's February, yeah. the month of love, Yeah. but also it's Black History okay, Month. Okay, okay, slow your roll, college <laughs> boy. What do you know about Black History Month? I mean, you went to a white high school, a Ooh. white college, boy, you were a white woman. Ooh. Come on there, Uncle Gene Bug. Lay off my bro. Troy's a well spoken, educated, nice young Negro. I mean, African American. What is that you guys are calling yourselves these Black days? Black is fine. Hey, who is this cat right here speaking up? Everybody, this is White Boy Rich. Hey, guys. Glad to be here. Where is Jock in the Box or Jock Strap or whatever the boy's name is with all the football news? Well,. He won't be with us for a while because he actually went to Philadelphia to be a part of the celebration. And last I heard, they duct taped his butt about 15 feet high oh, on a light pole cold. on Broad Street. Dag on Philly fans. Yes. Dude, Philly is awesome. City of brotherly love. Brotherly now, love. Slow, slow down roll with your white self, boy. Because you are the only one up in here who ain't a brother. Hold on, hold on. This is exactly what Dr. King wanted, inclusive. No, no, no. Dr. King wanted to be able to live to see the day where he could wear some Jordans out here and all that marching <laughs> oh, he you did. You wrong that one, Uncle Jim. Really? You wrong. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Inclusiveness. I just remember a time where we wasn't so included. Okay, Uncle Jim Bud. I know you grew up back in the Civil Rights Movement. You got some stories? Boy, do I. Here's a little bit of Black history, I bet you didn't teach up in them white boy schools. You want to know why black people don't swim today? Well, there was a man named Quincy Cubal Johnson. He used to work in the YMCA as a handyman, doing handyman stuff. Well, there was a bunch of white boys over by the swimming pool, laughing and cackling and all that. And they asked him to come on over. Cubal went over there to see what they wanted, and they asked him, you want to hang out with us? Boy, q -ball was so excited, he went on over there, wanted to hang out with him. Well, they had a little trickery up their sleeves. They tossed him in the pool and splashed him to death. Quincy was so mad, he jumped up out that pool and never went back to work again. Matter of fact, he went around all the neighborhoods and told everybody never to swim again. Then he flipped it on him. You know how you kids say, flip it? He went and opened up and invented his own sport. Call it pool. You know, after they swimming pool. Then he start opening up all these pool halls all around the ghetto. And that's where we get the name Cuba. Um, I ain't never ever heard that story. No, Uncle June Bug, I don't think that's right. Well, you know, I actually think I've heard that somewhere before. See, there you go, white boy. I knew you was good for something. Well, I don't know about how accurate this black history moment was, uh, but I do know I've got Proud Mary. <clears throat> this movie will make you so proud of our black women. She was strong, independent, lethal, and sexy too. She was just like a black female Jason Bourne. She was whooping everybody. And she acted as a single mother figure at the same time. I swear she reminded me of Foxy Brown. Yes, Lord. I'm going to think I'm going to have to check that one out. Bootleg. Well, I do love Foxy Brown myself. I was raised on her. Huh? Yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. I'm down. Oh, with the okay, brown. hold on, Richie. I know I included you today, but come on. Know your place. Okay, there, Urkel. Know my place. Nice sweater oh. vest. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, thanks for tuning in. That's what's going on. Y'all enjoy your Black History Month. Can somebody please call Jack's cell phone so we can find out?